We have uh, done a lot of computer modeling, very high resolution computer modeling in the northern Gulf of Mexico for storm surge and inundation work. After the horizon oil spill occurred, our immediate thoughts were, is this, uh, is this computer modeling helpful and ca can we make it helpful uh, in terms of tracking the potential oil movement in that region, which was quite close to the wellhead. And, and that, of course, is the environmentally sensitive region because it's, it encompasses the marshes uh, and the estuaries and the sounds and, and the areas where uh, a lot of the ecosystem, the fragile ecosystem exists. So what we were able to do was to utilize, again, the high resolution modeling that we already had in place and extend it to, um, to look at at least a hypothetical uh, movement of oil uh, sh should a hurricane come through the area um, while there was um, oil in place. Um, and we did that by looking at some recent historical hurricanes, um, Katrina and Rita from 2005, Gustav and Ike from 2008, and, and just looked at what the implications were a storm like that to come through the area again what might the implications be on, on the movement of oil particles in, particularly again, in the near shore areas, in the surface areas uh, of the near shore waters. The, the modeling work that we did uh, leverages an, a wonderful collaboration between uh, the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, between the University of Notre Dame, uh, between the University of Texas at Austin, uh, and between uh, Louisiana State University, all of which have been working together to develop these models uh, of the region. Uh, and it also uh, took advantage of an NSF TerraGrid allocation that we received at the, uh, at the, on the Ranger computer at the University of Texas.